When America wanted to shape their narrative and control the world, they formed Voice of America and Fox News. VOA is particularly financed by the US Agency for Global. When Asia wanted to control their narrative, they formed Al Jazeera and is proudly funded by Qatari government. When Britain wanted to colonize the world by shaping narratives that favor their interests, they formed BBC and Sky News. BBC is proudly founded and controlled by British government. China, under the Revolutionary Communist Party, owns CGTN and CCTV to control their narrative. RTV Television and Sputnik News, owned and run by Russia, are responsible for shaping former USSR giants' narrative. All the above media giants, fully funded by their governments, have been used for decades not only to shape African crooked narratives, but also manipulate misinformation inform, disinform, distort facts with a clear, deliberate mission to conquer and control information flow in Africa. Question is, where is Africa's center of gravity or command center? Because it's no longer debatable on whether Africa needs to be in charge of its own destiny or not. It's not even a request. It's a mandate bestowed upon us by our motherland that we must shape our own narrative based on our African beliefs, traditions and cultures. Thanks to our African gods and spirits because Next Media Services headquartered in Uganda is strategically walking that talk. Dr. Kin Karisa himself, a 2023 recipient of UP Global Awards, a revolutionary leader, has for many years been building on this dream. It's not by accident that the Pan-African Pyramid runs on NBS television every Saturday 4 to 5 p.m. It's a well-choreographed blueprint plan that he, and pop speaker and chairman Andrew Rumba Katsabe, and visualized years ago and agreed on less talk more action hence the slogan africa don't agonize organize out of the hundreds of radio and tv stations africa boasts of only a handful play a role in shaping the africa they dream to bequeath their children it takes an extra eye and sacrifice of kin's caliber to purposefully create content that projects africa as a force to reckon with rather than a dark continent ever thirsty for grand and donation. Just like America and Europe don't display hundreds of gun violence victims, homeless and hungry destitute children, so should Africa showcase their satisfied children from the abundant organic foods planted all year round with ever habitable climates for fauna and flora. Because the world without Africa is a car without an engine and fuel. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's African Revolutionary and Transformative Media Award goes to Next Media Service is limited.